So guys, before the video starts, I want to say that there is currently 72.6% of you guys watching my videos that aren't subscribed to my channel. All I'm going to say is if you like what you see, then give that big red subscribe button a press and I would really appreciate it. Anyway, let's get on with the video. How's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 20 Youth Academy Legends series with Grimsby Town. In this episode we're getting through the month of February and it's as straightforward as this. I'm going to simulate Northampton and I'm going to simulate Tranmere as much as I don't really want to do it because they're in 6th place but I'm going to do it anyway. And then we have games against Exeter, Crewe and Wimbledon. And something I forgot to point out in the last episode which I don't. Well, he hasn't noticed when I've um, when I've uploaded when uh, at this point after I've uploaded the video. But Mr. Mikel Conquo, who keeps on commenting, asking me to untuck the shirts. The shirts are now untucked. They were in the last episode. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. The shirts are now untucked. And in fact, that's just reminded me. I need to untuck our new signing, Josh Lonergan shirt. So let's do that right now on camera, shall we? There he is, Josh Lonergan. Um, let's go to his kit, shirt, untucked, boom. As you can see I've made a couple of changes to how this looks as well. I've now got a widescreen face cam as opposed to a 4x3 face cam because main reason is the 4x3 face cam wasn't 1080p HD which this, which this webcam can, can do so I'm now in HD, hello. And also what is now in proper 1080p HD is the video itself, I've been rendering for the last, well, for however God knows however long I've had been using OBS and rendering with Sony Vegas, I've been rendering it in a video file that doesn't render it in full 1080p. It's better than 720 but not quite 1080. So now, this video is in full 1080p HD, so you get to see it in even sharper detail. But anyway, enough of that nonsense, let's get into the games, the first one being up against Northampton at home, and it's a 2-0 win, Arvin Hannan getting a goal, and Josh Lonergan on his debut getting a goal as well. Second game I'm simulating sees us take on Tranmere at home, who are on the exact same points as us and one place below us, but they're not anymore, we've beaten them 1-0, Archie White with the goal. And actually, before I start this game against Exeter, I want to let you know that um, I have a few more creators in my uh, channels list of like recommended channels, so go and check them out. One of them is also doing a Grimsby Town career mode, a normal one, not a youth-based one like I am. His name is Fletcher Jet, so go and check him out. I'll put his link in the description below, along with the link to the channels page where it shows where it shows you all of my recommended channels. There's a few new creators in there, so go and check them out. But anyway, let's get on with this game, shall we? Exeter City against Grimsby Town. Nice interception that from Lindstrom onto Arvin Hannon. Here goes Peter Price. I've left him on instead of D um, Liam Dillon. Can he make it up to me? No. I should have put Liam Dillon on, shouldn't I? Here goes Sparks for Exeter. Oh, that's a good ball to Collins. Oh, Rostam! Oh, big man Lindstrom there as well. And we're on the counter-attack again. It's Peter Price again. I'm not trusting him with it this time. Arvin Hannant. Chips it up. Ah, that was put... Oh, very well. What's happened there? It's a, it's, it's a penalty. Randall Williams has fouled someone. What the hell happened there? I need to see this. I... <laughs> Apparently he fouled Zero Well. Zero Well just mistimed his jump. Anyway, I'm going to put Zero Well on this. He need, he needs a comeback goal. Where's he at? Where's he at? He's got 35 penalties, but that shouldn't matter. Oh, jeez, maybe it will matter. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. Masmed Zero Well is back, scoring a penalty. I love to see it, and only his second game back for me. Oh, that feels good. I thought, I, when I saw the thing go that big, I was like, oh no, here we go. But what a penalty in the end from the main man himself. The keeper dived before he even took the shot. Like, he dived so early. But what a penalty. Here is Zerwell. 
Oh, nice bit of feet there. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. You say, well, keep going for it because Jackson's offside. He's actually got it as well. Williams is having a shocker. He gets the ball in. It's towards. Oh, Peter Price! Yes! Oh, the Exeter defence are having an absolute shocker of a time. How have they let Peter Price score? Right. No, I, mean, I don't mean just in that position. How have they let him score? <laughs> anyway. That ball from Zara Well was brilliant. Hannon did well to bring it down and Peter Price just finished it off. In off the post again. 2 0. And Strum lays it off for Hannon. Hannon through to Zara Well. Peter Price on the outside. Lovely stuff. Toby Watson's making the run into the box. As is this man! Oh, it was Zara Well. Oh, he should have done. Well, I was going to say he should have done better than that. Only thing better than that was a goal, really. What are Exeter doing? They are literally... We're literally cutting them apart here. Arvin Hannett misses. Saved by the goalkeeper. But what on earth are they on? Hannett. On to Zeruel. Jackson on, out wide. Bradley Jackson. Oh, finish. What a finish from Bradley Jackson. We are cutting Exeter apart here. They've got nothing to show for anything at the moment. And they are paying for it big style with 3-0 up before the half is even over lovely finish as well from Bradley Jackson he timed his run to perfection and ah oh, beautiful finish here's Hannant again Bradley Jackson Mass Madero well you know what have a hit why not oh that was so close that was very close Iglesias waits for the run of Peter Price oh ref Ref, that's got to be a yellow card at the very least for Sparks. That's got to be. You're going to... Yep, yeah, there we go. Yellow card. I'm going to do something here. Peter Price is going to float it out all the way to Toby Watson. Good control. <laughs> I was not expecting him to score that like that. On his weaker foot. His weaker foot. When it's your day, it's your day. What a just right in the top bins. Oh, this angle. Oh, 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 this angle though. Look at that. Oh, it's pitch perfect. Oh, that's poor. Arvin Hannans, he hasn't got a goal yet in this game. Oh, it's saved by Ward. <laughs> wow. We are, the Exeter's defence are non-existent is Diego Montoya go on Jackson go on yes he still has it Gives it to Zerowell Zerowell to Lonergan oh that's not what I wanted him to do it's fine though Liam Dillon maybe whip out the skills ah flip flap the wrong way oops it's fine let's get it in anyway oh what a ball that's alright though we didn't score any in the second half or did we score in the second half? Can't remember. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's 4-0. What a win that was over, over Exeter City. We absolutely battered them for about the first 70 minutes. And then they came back slightly, but they didn't do anything in the end. What a win that was. I'm giving Cassie Malmukhtar a start in this game because why the hell not? Grimsby Town against Crew Alexandra. Malmukhtar through for Zary well. Through the legs of that defender there. Arvin Hannant. Passes it in the middle. It's Liam Dillon. Oh, he was in the wrong position. Liam Dillon playing it through. Hannant with the strike. Whew. That was very, very close. I thought that had just dipped into the top corner ever so slightly. It wasn't anywhere near the top corner, to be fair. Oh, it's been given away. Hannant through for Zoe. Well, I damn it. That was the chance. That's the best chance of the game so far. Might still have an opportunity here. Zoe well on his left. I thought that was him. It's hit the stanchion and gone behind. God damn it, man. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, it's going to be a red card for Iglesias, isn't it? I really did not mean to do that. What's it? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there goes the red cards. Yep, yeah, we already know. 
that's just one of those things. I just I pressed the I, well I didn't press the wrong button. I did press the right button, but I just it, yeah, I did it too late. What oh, what happens happens. Alexander Svensson is now manning manning the entire right hand side of the pitch for us. Dupan throws it out. He gives it to Hannant. I swear I just took off. What the hell? I did, but it's, for some reason the subs haven't happened yet. Well, I, I, actually, I want the substitutions to happen as early as possible, please. So Rostom, pff, well, that was clever, wasn't it? Pickering inside for Lowry. Save, Dupan. I don't want to be teasing a goal because it hasn't made my substitutes. Substitutions. It still hasn't made my substitutions. What is it doing? It hasn't made my substitutions. Right, make my substitutions now, please, game. Right. Hopefully now it's made my substitutions. This will prove it. No, still hasn't made my substitutions. I hate this glitch. Why does this glitch have to happen to me now? I think from now on, whenever I get a player sent off, don't make substitutions straight away because this is now the second time this has happened to me. It's just not making the subs. I've made the subs, you just saw me make the subs. And the subs have not been made. The ball's gone out twice since then. It's very well. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Cross it in. That's not where I wanted it. Who's that? It's Al Mokhtar! Yes! <laughs> Oh my god! He was supposed to be going off the pitch, but he's done it. He's got his he's got his debut goal. Oh mate! In fact, it's not his debut. It's his full, full debut. Oh, he was in the right place at the right time, and what a header that was as well! Come on, that's fantastic. I'm not so bitter anymore. Watch it make the subs now. Nope, still hasn't made the substitutions. <laughs> it's fine. If we can hold on to this for another three minutes, we are good. Right, game, do not do me like this. Do not do do not do me like this game. Please, I beg. I beg of you. I beg. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Ref's got to blow his whistle now, surely. We've beaten crew. That's what I want to see. And despite the game glitching on me again for the second time, it's a glitch that I don't think I've ever... I've not seen anyone else complain about this glitch. So it's definitely a new one, and one that only I, uh, out of everyone I know, only I have seen, so... Um, yeah, in future, if you get a player sent off, don't make substitutions straight away. They won't work. I'm actually going to tweet that out right now. Final game of this episode, we take on AFC Wimbledon. Jolie comes in on the right hand side, as does Eric Adekunde, as he is moaning that he's not getting enough game time, plus Iglesias is suspended of course. It's Grimsby Town against AFC Wimbledon. <gasps> oh, I did not mean to do that, but it worked anyway. Anyone else want to make a run, or is Jolie just going to go himself? Neither. Oh, it's a free kick. Oh. Oh, okay then, and we have our free kick taker on the pitch as well, Toby Watson. Smack it. Oh, 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 that was close. I know I yellow timed it, but it's better than not timing it, I think. Yellow timing it, and that was dipping in. Ah, oh, just over. Nice play between Zerowell and Jackson there. Jackson, inside for Watson. Watson chips it in. That's too easy. That was way too easy. Alvin Hammond. I think that's his first goal of the episode. <laughs> Somehow. We've scored five goals. Well, six now. And that's only his first one. But no one was picking him up. Wimbledon coming forward quickly, though, with Riley. What the... F I mean, great save in the end from Japan, But he just didn't react to the first shot, which... Could have nearly cost us there. Oh, I've, I've committed Dupan to that. Oh, good job. Then that cross went behind everyone. Zero well inside for Hannans. That's Zero well again. These two are working very well together, having not done it before. 
thought that was in. Zoe Well is shooting, is producing so many shots that look like they're in, but they're not. Well, that was poor who, of whoever that was. Oh no, that's a good ball. Well, Dupan didn't see that one coming, did he? And <laughs> Giordano just takes it off, and you know what, Dupan here. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Right now, pick it up. Jesus. Right, remind me never to do that again. There we go. Three wins out of three. Four wins out of five. It says four wins out of five, I think, in this episode today. Brilliant stuff. Let's see where we are in the table. So look at that, guys. We are third in the table. And more importantly, we're only three points off the top. Salford were running away with things. And suddenly we're now only three points behind them. Like, how has that even happened? What a what an absolute what a brilliant episode today's has been. Absolutely fantastic. And we're back into those automatic places once again. But now guys, to end off the episode, something I forgot to do in the last one, and that is a squad report. So here we go then, it is squad report time. We start off with Kasim Al Saad. He's an overall of 63 and he's gone up by two. Dragatin Dupin, overall of 67, he's gone up by 2. Tobias Thompson, overall of 57, he's gone up by 2. Alexander Svensson, overall of 69, he's gone up by 3. Eric Adekunde, overall of 64, he's gone up by 6. Frederick Clausen, overall of 59, he's gone up by 2. Lance Harrison, overall of 58, he's gone up by 1. Wasim Rostam, overall of 61, he's gone up by 1. Anton Jonsson, overall of 63, he's gone up by 1. Thomas Campos, overall of 66. Sebastian Bruno Iglesias, overall of 68, he's gone up by 1. Charles Roberts, overall of 60, he's gone up by 2. Jan Lindstrom, overall of 62, he's gone up by 3. Augustine Novak, overall of 56, he's gone up by 1. Fennel Pauletta, overall of 61, he's gone up by 2. Raul Azevedo, overall of 62, he's gone up by 2. Bradley Jackson, overall of 69, he's gone up by 4. Lorenzo Giordano, overall of 64, he's gone up by 6. Toby Watson, overall of 69, he's gone up by 4. Kasim Al Mukhtar, overall of 61, he's gone up by 1. Afonso Cabral, overall of 59, he's gone up by 1. Archie White, overall of 63, he's gone up by 2. Diego Montoya, overall of 67, he's gone up by 1. Liam Dillon, overall of 67, he's gone up by 5. Joel Lee, overall of 69, he's gone up by 3. Peter Price, overall of 64. Victor Pearson, overall of 57, he's gone up by 3. Leonardo Castro, overall of 53, he's gone up by 1. Masmud Zeruel, overall of 63, he's gone up by 3. Arvin Hannant, overall of 75, he's gone up by 5. And finally, Josh Lonergan, overall of 66, and he's gone up by 1. And that's going to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button down below. Hit that big red subscribe button if you like what you see and you want to see more. And if you don't want to miss a video, hit that little bell next to subscribe button and you'll get a notification sometimes when I upload. Might not be exactly when I upload, but you'll get a notification about it at some point. But anyways guys, until next time, stay safe and peace.